If you ever wanted to create the Angel of Death, stick around, we'll take a look at that right now. Hi guys, welcome to Multiverse. So today, we're going to take a look at the Wings of Sins, which allows us to create a few darn good looking uh, characters. Also, we're going to compare it with the, the Glittering Wings. Uh, at some point, Glittering Wings are, have been added to the game, and a lot of people thought it made the Wings of Sins uh, obsolete. I can guarantee you, that is not the case. So here you can see the Wings of Sins are pretty darn awesome looking. Uh, there's uh, some shiny shine effect to the, the tip of the wings, which made them look really awesome. I'm going to take a look at a few variations, but here you can see in black and white, it gives us a pretty darn good looking Angel of Death, if I say so myself. At some point we had the glittery wings that were added to the game, that uh, made some people think that the Wings of Sins were obsolete. But as you can see, that is truly not the case. The glittery wings have some textures in them that makes them very different from the Wings of Sins. Of course, as you can see, the wings can look pretty darn awesome if you want to recreate some sort of uh, avatar of sin. And these are pretty much the, the best, biggest wings we have right now. Again, uh, the glittering wings are pretty much the only pair of wings that are as big. But again, there is textures in the glittery wings, the, in the glittery wings that you don't have in the Wings of Sins. The part that is black on the Wings of Sins, uh, sadly you cannot really get it black, you get some sort of uh, purple textures instead of black. So if you want to have some nice black, uh, deep black looking wings, you pretty much have to use the Wings of Sins. And of course, although we already have the Hawk Wings to be able to recruit our friend Hawkman, as you can see the Wings of Sins can give us some pretty big freaking wings for our friend Hawkman. So if, if you've been meaning to create a Hawkman character, you could use the Hawk Wings if you want to, but if you want to have the biggest pair of wings in this universe online, you have to get the Wings of Sins. And I can already hear you ask, where or where can we get the Wings of Sins? Let's take a look. So how can you get the Wings of Sins? Uh, one way is to get the Tokens of Sins collection. So the first one is the Greasy French Fry Cup, the Small Vial of Pheromones, the Unchecked To-Do List, the Gossip Magazine Cover, the Lost Bookie Ledger, the Tabloid Magazine, the Evidence Storage Bag, the Parking Ticket, the Gotham City Police Badge, the Cooked Book, the Spent Bullet Casing, and you can see I'm still missing one of the collection. The collection that I'm missing is the Bloody Knife. How can I have the Wings of Sins if I don't have all 12 collections? I'll show that to you in just a minute. So where can you get those collections? Those collections come from the Arcane Time Capsule. So you can see there's the Wings of Sin collections. And sadly, the, 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 the rare collection for the Wings of Sin is extremely rare. Uh, I've opened Easily 500 of those uh, time capsules, and I never got the rare collection, sadly. Sadly, the only other place where you can get the collections is from the broker, and sadly right now the bloody knife is not on the broker. So how can you get the Wings of Sins if you cannot get the collection from the broker or from the time capsule? Let's take a look. So you can get the Wings of Sins from your friend Booster Gold. Uh, you have Booster Gold in the Watchtower, or if you are an evil villain, then you have to go to the Hall of Doom to see your friend Booster Gold. So if we look at the, what Booster Gold is offering, the Wings of Sins are the very first item right now on the list. Uh, sadly, it is pricey. I have to warn you about that. In order to be able to purchase the Wings of Sin from our friend Booster Gold, you have to pay 5,129 quarks. Let me, let me repeat that just to be safe. 5,129 quarks. So it is pretty pricey. It's basically as expensive as some of the rare auras that we had previously in the past. Or the negative speed force material. Or even the void material. So some people have been wondering why it was that expensive. Basically, it is the rare collection from the, the time capsule. 
uh, there's three collections you can get from time capsules but usually one of them is more rare than the rest there's one that is fairly common there's there's one that is uh, somewhat rare and there's one that is there's one collection usually that is uber rare the wings of sin collection was the uber rare one and then often there's a, another item that is even more rare in this case there was the star heart that was even more rare than the wings of sins than the wings of sins collections so sadly if you want to have the wings of sins the less bad option at this point is to just buy it from booster gold i know that it seems expensive over 5000 quarks but it's the, the best option you have right now to be able to be to be guaranteed to have the wings of sins how can you get quarks for those of you may be wondering you can purchase quark from the quarks vendor as you can see for 100 source marks you can get 25 quarks you also get quarks from time capsules when you open time capsules you get 10 quarks a minimum of 10 quarks if you're lucky you could get more uh, there's a random chance of getting a uh, hundred quarks or more but as a rule of thumb you usually get the minimum or close to the minimum you'll get 10 13 quarks per time capsule although there are some time capsules that you get you get a chance to be able to choose i think it's 30 quarks uh, if you're lucky so if you get a whole bunch of time capsules that gives you 30 quarks in addition to the 10 quarks uh, then you, you, you should be able to get 5000 quarks fairly quickly so if you want the wings of sins you can now purchase them from our friend booster gold if you were not able to get them from the time capsules or from the broker and that is going to be pretty much it for now guys if you have any questions feel free to ask so in the comment section down below and i'll see what i can do about answering your questions so as always guys, thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.